Today's Gospel, Saturday, August 1, is taken from St. Matthew chapter 14, verse 1 to 12. Herod the Tetrarch heard of the reputation of Jesus and said to his servants, This man is John the Baptist. He has been raised from the dead. That is why mighty powers are at work in him. Now Herod had arrested John, bound him, and put him in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip. For John had said to him, It is not lawful for you to have her. Although he wanted to kill him, he feared the people, for they regarded him as a prophet. But at a birthday celebration for Herod, the daughter of Herodias performed a dance before the guests and delighted Herod so much that he swore to give her whatever she might ask for. Prompted by her mother, she said, Give me here on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was distressed, but because of his oaths and the guests who were present, he ordered that it be given and he had John beheaded in the prison. His head was brought on a platter and given to the girl who took it to her mother. His disciples came and took away the corpse and buried him, and they went and told Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's faithful reflection is from Brother Edmar Cosare, of the hand of the sower Catholic community. In the first reading, Prophet Jeremiah was nearly put to death for prophesying against the city. But words from the people and Ahikam protected him. In the Gospel of Matthew, John the Baptist was put into prison for proclaiming God's word. Herod's fear of the people regarding him as a prophet spared John from being put to death for a time, not until an oath, sworn in front of many people, led to John's tragic death. Words are powerful. Our Muslim brother Imam Ali once said, words pierce deeper than swords. Aling sugat nga ba ang mas matagal maghilo? Sugat na pisikal? o yung sugat dulot ng masasakit na salitang nabitawan. Our readings today remind us of the importance of God's words in our lives. Like the prophets, are we ready to offer our lives to speak God's words for people to hear? Are we ready to die proclaiming the word of God to the people around us? Do not be afraid to speak God's word. As it is written, your word is a lamp for my feet, a light to my path. Let us pray. Give us the courage, Lord, to speak your words according to your will. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.